Now let's move from the Python backend to the JavaScript front end. In scripts.js, there's just a small to-do for us in configure. Within the suggestion, you'll see that we concatenate HTML to put within the search bar. As users search, they'll see suggestions pop up. So up to us to modify suggestions so that it displays matches to whatever place the user might be searching up. So once we've done that, let's move on to add marker. Within add marker, we'll want to instantiate a marker for every place in the US map or whichever country you've chosen. We want to listen for clicks on those markers within the map and then once clicks are received, get articles for that particular place, building a list of links to those articles. And we want to be able to remember these markers so that later on we can remove them. Within all of these mini to-dos for add marker, I'll give you some hints or rather point you towards functions that you might want to look into. But again, the crux of this problem isn't writing a lot of code, but rather understanding how to look up within an API, for instance, the functions that you'll need in order to achieve the functionality that you want. So to instantiate the marker, look into google.maps.marker. That's my only hint. To listen for clicks on the marker, look into event.addListener. To get articles for a certain place, look into getting the JSON file and remember how you retrieved it before. Finally, within add markers, you'll want to remember each of those markers. Remember that markers is a global variable at the top of scripts.js. So you'll want to find some way of representing this whole list of markers, whether it be an array or an object, what have you, as long as you're able to remove them later on. Because within remove markers, we'll want to iterate over this markers variable and remove all of them from the map and delete them. Again, look into the Google Maps API for a function on how to remove and delete these markers. With that, you've completed all of the code that's required of you for this problem. Last thing for you to do is to try and break your own website. There's no check 50, so it's up to you to compare against the staff solution, try and come up with corner cases that you haven't accounted for yet. Once you finish that, then you've completed your very first and pretty cool web app. My name is Zamila, and this was Mashup.